Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited you're all here today. And as you can see from this clip, it's a really rainy, wet day here, but we're gonna be decorating the kitchen today. I'm so excited. I feel like the kitchen's the heart of the home and we spend a lot of time in ours. So I really wanted to make it festive and bring some color and life into it for the summer season. And I'm really using a lot of blues, whites, and I'm actually gonna be adding in some yellow. So I'm super excited. So let's get started and make everything feel cozy. This tray is one of my favorites. I actually used it on my kitchen island in the spring, but I'm gonna use it again for the summer. And I'm gonna go in with this little riser that I got from HomeSense. I did wanna add a little stack of plates, but I wanted to elevate them a little bit. And this blue color is my favorite right now. I think it's just so calming and so gorgeous. You could use it for spring and summer. And I've been really loving blues. I feel like it looks very French country, cottage core. So I did have this cute little cup from Dollar Tree and I wanted to add some pillar candles to it and I just feel like it gives off that really homey feel that I'm going for in the kitchen. This little sign was from Michael's. I believe it was last year. And then I'm also going to add a tea towel. I love to add seasonal tea towels to my decor. And I really love to use a lot of greenery. I did have that real plant. My husband got me that for Easter, but I'm also gonna add in this faux one. And then I'm gonna go in with a few little beads. I got these from a sweet subscriber and I love to incorporate them into my decor. I think this little display turned out super cute and I love that I can just easily move it off the island if I need to. But now I'm going to go in with some of these placemats. I did pick these up this year. If you missed my last video, I did um, show where I purchased a lot of my new pieces for my summer decor. Um, but I love these placemats and I'm going to layer these blue plates over top of them. And you can really see the color of the blue in this clip with the sun kind of shining in. And then I'm going to layer over top my Dollar Tree plate as well as a lemon just for that little pop of yellow for summer. I remember that I had these cups and they're actually plastic. I typically use them for outside in the summer, but I thought they looked so pretty and I wasn't even sure what side of the plate you're supposed to place the cup. So I think it might be the right side, but you guys will have to tell me if there is proper etiquette. We're not super fancy here, but I just thought they added a really pretty touch to the island. I love to add seasonal hand soap by my kitchen sink. And typically I love the Mrs. Myers and I really wanted the honeysuckle scent, but I couldn't find any. So I did just buy this Method hand soap. It smells amazing and the color does go with my theme, but I'm definitely on the hunt for the Mrs. Myers honeysuckle or the lemon. So I decided to keep our nest sign up in the kitchen. I think it's super cute. It doesn't have to just be for spring. And I have my seasonal wreaths here and just to bring in a little bit more color and instead of replacing the whole wreath, I'm just gonna add some sprigs of this yellow floral that I got from Michael's last year. And I feel like it really pops up against our dark cabinets. In this corner here, I decided to add this really pretty lace doily, and then I had a plate stand to which I added this really cute hat. I love it. This would be perfect for actually fall decor also. And then I have this really pretty hand towel from Dollar Tree. Just to bring a little bit of color into these containers, I decided to drape it in one of them. And then I also have some greenery. This is from the Ashland collection from Michaels. They typically always have this, and I think it's $9.99. And just to bring some pops of green, I decided to kind of tuck that into the canister and then add a simple little lemon. Okay guys, I want to show a little clip of Holstein. He got his hair cut on Thursday and he's bundled under the blanket. He does not like getting his hair cut and it was a chilly day so he's just cozying up on the couch watching me decorate. 
Okay, I found this super cute basket at the Goodwill. I think it's so cute. It was only a few dollars, so I knew that this would look really cute for the kitchen, and I kind of wanted to build a little vignette inside of it. So I think to me, when I want to make something really cozy, I feel like I love to layer a lot of pieces in. So I went in with a tea towel, and then I'm going in with this really pretty lemon plate. I can't remember where I got it from, but I got a set of three last year. And then I also thrifted these mugs they were 50 cents each and I love the blue color and I just kind of wanted to layer them in the basket these adorable little flowers were from the Dublin Mercantile. I think they're so cute, so I thought I would just tuck them into the mugs. And then I'm gonna use one of these little coasters. It was from the Dollar Tree also. Any of the navy and white, that's pretty much all from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna go in with some of these candlesticks, and I'm just really trying to layer a lot of pieces in here. I'm gonna add a lemon, and then this adorable little basket that I thrifted. I think it's just so cute. I love how dainty and small it is and I thought it was cute to place a basket in a basket. <laughs> And the finishing little touch here is this lemon squeezer. I got this last year and I just love the bright yellow color. I've been trying to thrift books lately so that I have more to add to my collection because I feel like they look so beautiful stacked up and used as decor, but I've been having trouble finding colors or um, covers that come off the books to expose the actual book color, but I did find that blue one. I think it's so pretty. And I wanted to also add something to the top of my oven. I can't stand how the time shows in that fluorescent green. I don't know, I guess it's a pet peeve. So I always love to cover it up with something. So I added my kettle. And then I went to Bath and Body Works probably a week ago and I was looking for some kind of blue candles and I love the smell of this one. It's called Sailing in the Mediterranean and it's quite strong. So if you don't like strong scents, it might not be for you, but I love it. It smells very very fresh and clean and manly, um, but I think it's perfect for summer. I love to burn candles year round, not just in the fall and the winter, but I just feel like they add such a cozy feel to the space and they also make everything smell so fresh and amazing. Um, so I love Bath and Body Works and I typically always buy a seasonal candle from there. To kind of jazz up the oven, I'm going to add some seasonal tea towels. I actually got these last year. I remembered I had them, so I brought them out. And I believe they were from Marshalls. And I just love the yellow and the lemon print. I think it's so pretty. And then I also added one of my Dollar Tree cups to my Keurig station, just to really carry that blue theme throughout the kitchen. I purchased these little cake canisters this year from HomeSense. They were on discount. I think it was $16 for two. I think they're so cute and pretty for the kitchen. So I knew I wanted to stack these kind of in the corner just to bring a little bit of height in. And I thought I would layer a tea towel to bring a little bit of color to this. And then I had these gorgeous tulips that I used in my spring decor. So I thought I would just add these to the top of this little cake pan. Let me know in the comments if you guys have started decorating for summer or if you're still decorating for spring. I would love to hear. I know everybody kind of starts at different times, but I'm so ready to get into my summer decor because then comes fall, which is my favorite season. Um, but I really love these little stands. I got these from Michaels this year. I love the distressing and the little legs on them. So I wanted to do a layered look with these. And then I found this gorgeous print from the Dublin Mercantile this year. I think it's stunning. Um, it was $24.99 I believe but it was 25% off and I thought this would look so gorgeous in the kitchen. I'm gonna go in with another lace doily. I feel like these are so inexpensive. You can find them at the thrift stores, garage sailing. I have like a whole stack of them that I've kind of been accumulating and I just love them. I know some people might think they're kind of old fashioned, but I think they're really romantic and pretty. And then I'm gonna also layer another little coaster and this really pretty teacup that I thrifted. It's kind of hard to pick up the detail, but it's really gorgeous and it's incorporating some of that blue. And then I have another one of these little yellow flowers from the Dublin Mercantile. So I just wanted to add that in to give it a little bit more color and height.
I would love to know in the comments what colors you guys are using for your summer decor. I really want to stick with my blues and whites and then add in little pops of yellow. I typically love more muted tones, so using yellow is a big step for me, but I think it looks so fresh and pretty for the summer season. To bring in a little bit more cottage charm, I'm going to add in these oven mitts. I love them. I love the colors. And I feel like you can add different patterns as long as they're in the same color family. Everything flows together really well. I'm showing this little two-tiered stand. I got it from Walmart. And then when I was out thrifting, I found these adorable little cups. They were 50 cents each and actually from Pier 1. So I thought these would look so cute on this little tray. I also found these really cute salt and pepper shakers. I love the patterns on them. It was two for $9.99. And the one almost has a herringbone pattern. I think it's so adorable and just perfect for this little stand. I decided to bring in a little bit of greenery. It was looking a little bit bare, so I was trying to think what I could add to this. And then I had this really adorable little lace bottle from Michaels a few years ago. I thought it would be perfect. I'm trying to keep it really minimal and just really light and airy. And I had this adorable little bird. I think birds are so cute for spring and summer. And then to kind of fill out some space in the back, I'm just gonna add these really pretty mums from Michaels. Let me know in the comments if you guys decorate with two tier or three tier stands in your home. I definitely feel like they were more popular a while ago, but I still think they're so pretty and they just add such a cozy feel to a space and I really love to use them in my kitchen. So I love how this one turned out. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or if you like how it looks. If you guys watched my thrifted video that I posted last week, this is one of my favorite finds from the video. I think it was around five or six dollars. It's so pretty. So I thought I would layer in some tea towels and I just love how the whites and the blues pop against this wicker basket. And then I found these floral stems at Michael's. They are kind of like a darker yellow mixed in with a pale yellow. And I just kind of wanted to put them in and I wanted them to look really whimsical and wild and just kind of popping out of the basket. Basket. So I'm just going to pop this on the top of the fridge just to fill in some space up there. I love how the kitchen turned out. Now the sun's coming out right after I'm done filming, but that's okay. You guys can get a really good shot of how everything looks. It was kind of dull and dreary, but at least it's getting a little bit nicer now. And I just love the bright colors. It really is starting to feel like summer, um, but we're supposed to get higher temps coming up within the next week or two. So let me know how the weather's like where you are, but I just wanted to say I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I love chatting with you every single week. and. If you do have Instagram, come follow me over there at Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I typically post daily and would love to chat with you, but thank you to each and every one of you. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.
Hi everyone, welcome back for another week of decorating. I'm so happy you're all here today. I am just showing a quick clip of our kitchen. I did decorate this a few videos ago for summer and I was going for a really French country cottage core look in this space and I really love how it turned out. I feel like it's really bright and cheery and perfect for summer and our dining room um, does back onto the kitchen. Our house is very open concept, especially on the main level. We moved moved in about seven years ago. Um, we built this house and I love it. I really like the open floor plan and just that the rooms are a little bit bigger. I love having this dining room space um, for hosting. So I'm super excited to kind of carry the color and just kind of the theme that I'm going with this summer into the dining room. So let's get started on some decorating. One of my favorite places to decorate in the dining room is our buffet. So I'm just gonna go in with this picture frame. I've had this for many years. It was actually the seating plan for our wedding. Um, I just pinned the seating plan on it, so that takes me back, but I just love that it's so neutral. And then I'm gonna add this really pretty wreath right above it, um, just for that perfect little pop of summer. So while I'm decorating today, Holstein's kind of in and out of the house. It's a gorgeous day today, but he was in his little basket here having one of his little treats. He loves these sticks. I try not to give him too many of them, but it's definitely a little treat and he does enjoy them. And I just thought this was such a cute little clip, so I had to include it. I really love to use baskets for my summer and fall decor and especially with this French country theme that I'm going with. I feel like baskets add almost a vintage charm and just a coziness to the space. So I did find this one at a thrift store and then I wanted to layer in some color. So I'm just going to put one of these little tea towels that I did get from Dollar Tree this year. I knew that I wanted to incorporate books into my decor this summer and I went to one of my local thrift stores, it's my favorite one, and they actually had all the books on, not all of them, but a lot of them on for 50 cents. So this was a time that I knew I could really sort through and find books with the color scheme that I was going to be going with. So I just took the covers off the books and I was really looking for ones that were blue, yellow, gray, white, just really soft colored books to go with my um, um, color scheme for summer and I was just so happy that I was able to find all these books for 50 cents and I love the colors I'm just placing them so the book backing is toward the back you can't see the writing but I just love the subtle hints of color I found this really adorable dish at Winners in town. I think it's so cute with the two little birds. It was only $9.99 and to me it looks very French country. I love the coloring and I just think it's so beautiful. I thought I would just add it to my stack of books. And then I had some of these little mini lemons. You can actually find a lot of lemon decor at Michael's. They do have their Ashland collection and they have bigger lemons as well as the really small ones. And I just think they're perfect for summer decor. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm decorating, I love to add pieces and then take a look back and kind of just see how everything's flowing together. And I felt like something was missing on top of the picnic basket. And then I remembered I had this beautiful lace doily. So I thought I would add it just to bring a really soft feminine touch to the picnic basket to break up some of that wicker. Um, and I love this. I actually thrifted it. And then once I put the books back on, I thought that it really completely at the look and just broke up some of that darker wicker. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you like how this looked before or after the doily. To me, to my eyes, it's definitely more pleasing with that little doily added. And then I'm going to build in um, this area a little bit. I have this little wooden stool. I love to use it to add some height to my displays. And I'm going to add another little doily that I have. I have quite a collection of these. I think they're so cute. And then I have this gorgeous kettle. I found this thrifting. I think it was $3.99. I love the handle and that really soft blue color I feel like it's so perfect for summer so I just added this to the little stool
When I think of French country, I also think a lot about different materials and fabrics, and I wanted to bring that really cozy feel. So I had these beautiful napkins. They were from Michael's a few years ago. I thought I would just add these kind of to the buffet just to bring a little bit more texture. And I really love how they look, that soft white with the burlap material. I think it just adds a lot to the buffet. To balance out the blue on the other side from the kettle, I'm going to use this urn. I found this at Value Village for $4.49 and I absolutely love it. The color is so perfect. I love the shape of it. I feel like it really fits with the French country feel. And then I have some gorgeous flowers. I picked these up from Michaels. They always have sales on so I love to take advantage of that. And I just really love the wispy feel of these. They almost feel like wild flowers and I think they're just so perfect. I love the combination of the white, the blue, and the yellow. I feel like it's so classic and just so fresh. I love how this little vignette turned out. It really says summer to me, especially with the picnic basket and the colors. But I felt like there wasn't any yellow on the left side. Um, so to balance it out, I'm just gonna slide that little tea towel over just so I have a pop of yellow on each side of the picnic basket. And to me, I just feel like it looks more visually appealing and it's just so cute and definitely very cottage core. You'll have to let me know what you think of this display in the comments. I really love it. It may be a lot for some, but I think it's just really pretty and feels really homey and inviting to me. Let me know if you guys have started your summer decorating and kind of what colors you're going with. I know a lot of you are using the blues and the yellows. Um, I have this little blanket corner right in the ladder here. I'm going to add this really pale blue blanket. And then I did use this hat in my spring decor on the ladder, but I love the hint of blue with the ribbon so I decided to add it again and in between filming and decorating I did go and sit out back with Holstein I still need to decorate out here I've just added a few pillows to my kind of um, sofa but I want to really spruce up the backyard and add in lots of pretty colors and kind of bring that French country out back here but here's little Holstein he's really enjoying this weather and he loves sitting outside so I thought I would share that with you guys so moving back inside, I'm going to decorate the table now. I really wanted to do a simple tablescape um, that was really easy. So I started with this white runner. I've had this for quite a while and I love to use it in the spring and summer. And then I did purchase this blue runner this year um, and I thought I would just layer the two. I felt like the blue one was just a little bit too um, thin on its own and it didn't fill the space enough so I thought I would layer the two and I love the look and then I have this gorgeous picture pictures in white to me just really say summer and I just bent my floral stems um, and I'm just gonna place them right in this picture I never like to trim my floral stems because I move them around from vase to vase and different displays and I feel like when you bend them it does add some more stability um, so I'm just tucking these in and I love that bright pop of white. I did want to just explain the thought process of using the white flowers. I feel like they really tie into the white wreath and the lamps and just using a lot of light colors just makes everything flow together. And then I have these placemats. I've had these for such a long time. They always seem to carry these at Home Sense and Winners in different colors. I just love how light and airy they are and I think they're perfect for summer or spring decor. The chargers that I am using today are from Michaels. They always have a really good selection and I always like to stock up when they have buy one, get one free. And I decided to alternate the colors so I did two white ones on the heads of the table and then two of this really pretty brown, um, kind of to tie into the picnic basket. And then all the plates I'm using today are from Dollar Tree. Um, those gorgeous blue ones as well as these lemon ones, they were all there this year at my local Dollar Tree for a dollar 
$1.50 each and I think they're so stunning. They look so similar to ones I've seen at HomeSense for a lot more and I'm just sharing a little clip of our local Dollar Tree and just all the dishes they had. Um, they had so much lemon decor and you cannot beat $1.50. These cups were also from Dollar Tree. Um, I love them so much. I love the shape and just how low they are. I think they look so pretty on the table. And as you can see from this little clip here, Dollar Tree had the taller ones, they had some mugs, and then the shorter ones, which I got. Um, but I just love them and I can't believe the great products that Dollar Tree has lately. I feel like they have so many gorgeous items to choose from and so much variety. So I've been loving to shop there and saving money in the process. I think these blue candles are so charming. I love the shade. They're from the Dublin Mercantile, a local store, and then the actual candle holder is from Dollarama. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to create tablescapes seasonally or if you just like to keep it simple with just a display in the center of the table. Because we don't have kids, I really like to do tablescapes. It's just we don't eat at the table every night so it makes it a bit easier. So let me know what you guys do in the comments. I have this cute little table in this back corner. It was actually my mom's. I think it's chalk painted, but I love to add a little something to it. It's right by the back door. So again, I have a thrifted basket. I'm gonna drape this little tea towel from Dollar Tree. Again, it was $1.50. Everything from there is $1.50. And then I knew I wanted to add some books. So I brought in this little stool just to kind of raise these books up. And these were, again, from the thrift store for only 50 cents. I love that really beautiful green one and I just love the look of books I don't know why I've really been into them lately um, I think they're just so pretty and such an inexpensive way to add some decor to your space I did want to add a little pop of greenery. I feel like it looks so fresh and springy. This was from Michael's. I think it was around $10 and I love the look of that. And then just to bring a little bit of yellow here, I'm going to add some lemons to the top of these books. Moving over to my sofa table, I'm gonna add this floral display. Um, I love it, it's in this wooden box. I did buy it like this. And I love to jazz this up for the seasons. In spring, I had Easter eggs in here. And then for summer, I'm gonna add some simple lemons. It's a great way to not have to spend money um, every season on a whole new piece, but just kind of add in seasonal touches. I did thrift this blue um, dish. It's so stunning. I love the pattern as well as the top of it with the blue kind of lid. I think it's so pretty. So I found two that were similar, um, but not the exact same shape, just to bring in some of that blue kind of to the sofa table area. And then on the bottom, I did want to keep it quite simple just because the buffet does have a lot of decor. So I'm adding this stem basket and some pretty florals that tie into the florals that we used on the buffet actually just to kind of try to keep things cohesive and I love these simple stems and then just to bring in a little pop of color I'm gonna add this adorable little birdhouse I got this a few years ago from winners and I think it was only seven dollars but I think it's just so cute I'm just going to show you guys some clips now of how everything came together and turned out. I think it's really beautiful. It ties in really well to the kitchen and I just love the blues with the yellows. I don't know, to me it's very traditional and very summery. I love also the wicker components for the warmth and the vintage feel that they bring. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I truly love hearing from each and every one of you. You bring so much happiness and joy to my life 
and I just love being able to see your names and recognize you and chat every week. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I hope all the moms out there and the fur moms had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know it can be really hard for those that have lost moms or everybody's kind of going through different things in life. So just know that I'm always here for you guys and that God loves you and knows your heart. And I just so look forward to chatting with you each and every week. So until the next video, friends, take care. God bless. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another week of decorating. I am showing a little overview of my front flower beds. I think I took you guys along about two weeks ago where I planted and mulched and edged this front area and everything has gotten so big in just a few weeks time, especially my hostas. And I did cut these down in the fall and they're already getting so big. It's been so humid and sunny here. So I think it's just really causing everything to just grow super fast. Um, but these are just some of my flowers I have these um, hydrangeas and then I have this beautiful pot that I kind of put together I love the creeping Jenny I thought it was potato vine but you guys corrected me and then there's little Holstein he's kind of my little helper for the day but I really want to get my front porch area refreshed now that the flower beds are done and we love to just sit out here and enjoy the warm summer sun so in case you guys are new to my channel or I haven't mentioned this before, we moved into this house seven years ago. Um, we had it built, so we did do some customization to it, but it came with these lights and we haven't changed them in seven years and they're looking faded. They're too small for the space. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner, but I ended up finding these really gorgeous lights on Amazon. I will try to find the link and leave it down below if you're interested. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. They were really inexpensive and I think that they're just the perfect size So my husband and my father-in-law put these up and I just love how they look They're just the right size and I feel like they add a really modern touch to the house you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you like the new light fixtures for outside. I feel like they just really make the home feel refreshed and I love all the light that they cast. And then right on our front porch sitting area, this is kind of the look that I had for spring. Just very minimal. Um, I had these really gorgeous lavender pillows on my chair, but I kind of wanted to switch them up for summer just because I'm not really using purples. So I had these really gorgeous green and white pillows. I love that you can kind of switch um, either side with the leaves or the stripes. So I had to move Holstein from his favorite little spot and I just really wanted to bring that pop of green onto the porch area. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to refresh your pillows for outside. Um, I love to. I feel like it just changes the whole look of the space by either adding different pillow covers or different pillows. And Holstein actually went inside. It was such a hot day today. It was probably 31 degrees Celsius plus the Humidex. So it was really hot and the sun was kind of shining down on him. Um, but I just wanted to get those pillows refreshed. And then we do live in an area where there's a lot of construction 
pollen and then I think there's actually pollen out here too. So I basically have to wipe this table down almost every day because it gets a build up on it and I just like it to be nice and clean when I'm sitting out here. So I'm just using my Method glass cleaner. This is probably my favorite glass cleaner that I've ever used and this is just from a day so you can kind of see it builds up out here and I'm just going to place my little wicker tray back up here with my bird cage and I think it carries well into summer. I wanted to add a little pot to the table with a flower in it so I went to Walmart um, and I was just looking at their big section of pots. They had so many, so many really cute ones. I was really drawn to this little one with like the fan design as well as this chevron one. I thought they were so pretty and they were such a reasonable price. I also love these gray ones with the white detailing and the small ones were only $3.98, the larger $7.98, which was such a good price. But I did end up picking up this white one. I love that it has drainage because um, I hate when the water just builds and it has nowhere to go. But I was also really tempted to get these gorgeous planners, so I may be back for these also. So I'm just going to go with this geranium. I love this variegated pink color and I really wanted to bring a little pop of something onto the table because I have so many kind of plants in the flower beds and the stairs but nothing really on top of the porch yet. So I thought this would be so cute and I have a lot to water just with the flower beds so I didn't want to add too much um, on the front porch but I just wanted a little pop of pink up there. Let me know in the comments what the weather's been like where you guys are at. It's been so hot and humid here. Typically in Canada, we don't see temps like this until July. Um, so it's been kind of crazy. This week's a little bit cooler. It's going to be in the 20s, but that's still pretty warm. So I'm going to add this little flower right over here. And it just kind of brightens up this space a little bit. And I just love when I'm sitting here to be able to look at this. And I think it's just so cute. So this is the wreath I have on the front door, just really simple and white. And then guys, I fell in love with this gorgeous flower arrangement. I think it's absolutely stunning and you won't believe what I paid for it. It is huge. I don't know if the video is kind of doing it justice to show just how big it is. There is some potato vine plant in there also, but it's kind of the softer pink with the dark pink and then lots of greenery. And I actually got it from a farm that I always frequent it's just down the road um, and I love going there they just have the best selection and amazing prices so I actually picked up this huge plant for $35 plus tax and once I add it to this table you'll be able to see just how big it is I think it's so stunning I love how it drapes down and I can trim this throughout the summer just to kind of keep it growing but I love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. I'm so, so happy you guys come back every week to spend some time with me in Holstein. If you are new to my channel, welcome. But if you're returning, I am just so, so grateful for you. And I would love for you to come follow me on Instagram at Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I usually post daily on there. So come stop by and say hi. I'm just adding my little watering can. And then I heard my little helper in the house. I knew that he wanted back out because he kind of cooled off. So I think it's so cute. He'll just sit there and wait. And when I tell him he can come out, he'll just hop right on his little chair. I always have a little blanket there for his paws so they're not on the wicker. Um, but I think he's just so cute. I did end up putting his leash on, but typically he won't go anywhere. So I wanted to move on to our bird feeder. I did purchase this one from Walmart a few weeks ago. It was $10, but I don't know how this thing works because I fill it up and there's no actual ledge, so all the seeds just fall out. So I'm really not sure if this is just a dud or what happened, but I ended up going back to Walmart and they had this one for $14.97 and it actually has the ledge. So that made more sense to me so i don't know if the other one had a missing piece or if you're supposed to put different food in it i'm not too sure so i did pick up this wild bird food at walmart i think it was around 15 dollars and then i thought i would use this funnel to kind of put it in um but that didn't really go to plan it was 
<laughs> kind of making a mess and going so slow. So you're going to see in a minute, I'm going to kibosh this and just kind of dump it right in. I don't know if it's older age or what, but ever since I've kind of gotten older, I've really been enjoying bird watching. I find it so relaxing. I love to see the little birds come and eat. My sister has so many birds in her backyard and chipmunks and squirrels, and I just love watching them. They're so sweet. And I wanted to kind of get some in my front yard, so I'm hoping that this bird food will kind of draw some in, but I haven't seen any in the last few days. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything I can kind of do to get some birds to come to my feeder, let me know in the comments. I also knew that I wanted to add some solar lights to my front flower bed. I think it looks so gorgeous in the evenings when it's dark out and you're going for a walk or driving by a house and it has up lighting or just pathway lights. I think they add so much to a space. So they had these gorgeous ones. They were $7 each or you could get a pack of six and I think it was a few dollars less. So I knew that I probably needed at least six. So I did pick up this pack. It's a warm white light um, and it's LED it's eight hours of runtime so I thought these would be perfect for the front yard so these lights were actually super easy to assemble which I love I love an easy project um, so I think they're so stunning and they really feel substantial and really good quality for the price I think they're great and I love that they're LED so they'll automatically just come on every night all you have to do is just take the base and kind of add it to the top of this and then the bottom you just pull out and then you kind of have the dagger part that goes into the ground and they definitely feel like they're really good quality so I'm excited to see um, kind of how they hold up over the summer and then just kind of to activate them you just pull out this little green tab and they're good to go so I ended up doing this for all six of them. I really wanted to light up the walkway so when we parked our cars or when people walk down the steps at night, everything would be really well lit up. We don't have a railing on our front porch, but I've been thinking about getting one made for there. Um, but these lights just now add a lot of brightness and really light up the path, so I think they're perfect. I'm really glad I went with the six pack, and if I do wanna add any more, I can just buy the individual ones, so it's nice that you have that option. And Walmart just has so many lights and pots and things to choose from and I feel like it's the most reasonably priced so you can see my hydrangeas on the porch I'm kind of not sure how they're doing they started off white then they went pink and now they're green uh, so I'm not sure if they're dying I think it's something to do with the soil but I'm not sure if I should deadhead them or just replant them and I think if you plant them in the ground they'll come back every year so let me know what you guys think and if you have any tips for hydrangeas. <laughs> So Baby Holstein is just sitting out here enjoying the sun. I think that's his favorite thing to do in the summer is to sit on the porch and watch all the action on our street. And we just love being out here. I love to read a book and just relax on the porch and enjoy all the summer sunshine and warmth. I would love to know in the comments if you guys have any summer projects or anything you're working on, even if that's as small as, you know, changing a light fixture. It doesn't have to be these big projects. I feel like when you own a house, you really have to budget and save for things, and that's what we do. Um, we bought those new lights, and we got one for the back also. So you just kind of have to chip away at things and replace them as needed and just kind of do it in a budget-friendly way. That's how we do it. We just kind of take on small projects and then if we have a big project, we kind of save up for that. So let me know if there's anything you guys are doing to your homes this summer. 
I did just want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to show a clip of the front porch in the evening with all the ambience from the lights. I think it looks so gorgeous and welcoming. And I just want to thank you all so much for spending time with us every week. Leave me a comment and say hi. I love to hear from all of you. And until the next video, friends, take care. God bless. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy you're all here today. Before we get started with the decorating, I did want to share a company called Anna Luisa. I've worked with them before. They have gorgeous jewelry pieces and I just wanted to share some of them with you today. I know you'll love this brand as much as I do. Everything is just gorgeous and elevates your everyday look. The first piece I picked out was this bracelet. It's called the Aura Bracelet. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love gold for this time of year especially and I also love that it comes with additional links so it can really fit any wrist size. I really love that the pieces are so affordable. They start at $39 and go up and they also offer free and fast US shipping and returns and then affordable worldwide shipping which is great so everybody can get some of this jewelry. But this is a Harry bracelet that I'm showing. It's so stunning. I love the simplicity of it and how delicate it is and this would really elevate any outfit that you're wearing. These earrings are definitely my favorite. I think they're so, so stunning. And I love that you can dress them up or down. I plan to probably wear these every day. They're so lightweight. And when I was wearing them, it really felt like I had nothing in my ears. Um, but I did want to mention to you guys that all of Anna Louise's products are backed by a two-year warranty. They do extensively test their products against tarnishing, allergies, breakage. But if you're not 100% satisfied, they will send you a report placement or reimburse you fully. So I think that's amazing. The last piece I got was this Jonah bracelet. I love a little bit of silver mixed with gold and I am absolutely in love with all these pieces Anna Louisa sent. So thank you so much. If you guys do want to order anything, I have a code Rebecca20 and that will get you 20% off your order and I will leave that link in my description box. So today we're going to be decorating my entryway table. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like before I kind of take everything down. This is what it looked like for spring. I loved everything. Very neutral with some pops of purple. I just found it so calming and sometimes I do struggle with taking things down and moving on to the next season, but I knew it was time. And there's my little helper Holstein. If you guys watched my last video, I mentioned that he's had some ear infections lately, um, but we do take him to the vet to tomorrow. She's going to check his ears and make sure they're fully healed and that the antibiotics worked. So thank you so much for all your tips and suggestions. Um, they were so helpful and hopefully he doesn't get any more. I'm really praying that that's the end of the ear infections. And here he is kind of looking out and barking. He barks kind of when he sees a dog go by, but it's such a cute little bark. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So I just spent some time clearing off this area and then wiping it really well. I have a lot of glass up here which does collect dust, um, but I love how light and airy glass makes everything feel. So this table was my mom's. I always have it up here and these two little lamps I always have up here also. And I decided to add this family sign to the top of this mirror. I had this actually in my living room for spring. And I love to just kind of move signs throughout the house and just change up the look of a space. And then on my mirror here, I just got one of these little... I guess they're kind of like a wreath holder from the dollar store. You just kind of suction them onto your mirror. And I'm going to add this really wispy wreath that I got from HomeSense just to bring in some of those yellow colors that I've been using for summer. 
I know it's Memorial Day weekend for all my U.S. friends, so I'd love to hear what you guys have been up to for Memorial Day and just kind of what your traditions are as a family. So next, I'm going to move on to the top of this table. I'm going to add this really pretty bird cage in. This is probably my favorite decor piece that I have. I got this from a store called the Dublin Mercantile, and I love the simplicity of it and just that I can decorate it seasonally. So I'm going to go in just with a bit of greenery. This is a little bit of a darker greenery um, and I love to use this for summer. This was actually from Michael's. They have really affordable greenery there so if you're ever looking that's probably my top place to go but I do live in Canada so we don't have as many options as my U.S. friends. Whoever designed this bird cage though didn't make it the easiest to decorate around. <laughs> I wish the top opened up but it's just this little door here. That's okay though, I made it work. I added this really cute bird and then I'm going to go in with this really chippy clock. I feel like it adds a really nice vintage French country touch and it's just something a little bit different. I like trying new things and I love the cream against the green. These containers came from Dollar Tree. I took some white paint and distressed them. I wanted them to feel a little bit softer and that's an easy way to kind of make anything your own is just to paint it. Um, and then to bring in some of that yellow color to tie in the wreath, I'm gonna add some lemons. These are from Michaels, but I think sometimes you can find them at the dollar store. I just haven't. So I buy all mine from Michaels as well as these cute little baby ones. They had those um, there also. I found these adorable little gardening tools at Dollarama this year. I think it was three or four dollars for a pack of three. And this kind of feels a bit like a little gardening vignette. So I decided to add these. Um, I love the wooden handles and the matte black of the actual tools. And I feel like it ties in really nicely with this display. If you guys are enjoying this video, I would love it if you would take a moment to hit the like button. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. But if you're returning, I'm so happy you're back. I love chatting with you guys every week. I did want to show you guys this really cute pillow. I picked it up from Winners. It's reversible, so you can really use it on any side. But I'm going to use the side with the florals. It kind of reminds me of bumblebees with the flowers with the black center. And then this this really cute basket. I went to a townwide garage sale this weekend in New Hamburg and this was one dollar. I thought it was such a great find. It has that little opening at the top. You could put a wine bottle in it or anything really. I think it's meant for like a picnic but I knew that I would use this for a cute little vignette for summer and then I'm going to go in with some of these books. I got them at the thrift store. I ended up buying quite a few because they were only 50 cents and to me it kind of feels like a picnic vibe going on a picnic with your books and then I'm going to add a little pop of greenery in here as well. I would love to know how the weather's been um, where you guys are at. It's been really nice here, um, about 25 degrees Celsius. So it feels amazing to have those temps here in Canada in May. Um, sometimes we don't get that till July. So let me know how the weather's been where you are. And I'm going to go in with this basket. I think it says $3.50. This was from the thrift store and I got it for 50% off. And then I found this gorgeous little tin um, when I was thrifting this weekend at the garage sales it was ten dollars but I think it's stunning I love the chippiness of it and the blue color and I thought it was perfect for summer decorating I really wanted to keep things really airy and simple and light for summer. Um, I spend a lot of time at the beach and outdoors, not a lot of time inside cleaning. So it's just easier to kind of keep things neat and tidy when you have more minimal decor. So I really wanted everything to kind of be simple, but I also wanted to add that touch of summer to my house. I love decorating seasonally. I feel like it makes your home so cozy and to me it really just makes me enjoy the seasons in a fuller extent to have that kind of summer decor out or whatever season you're in. So let me know if you guys like to switch things up in your homes as well.
If you guys did miss my last video, I will link it in the description box. I kind of took you to my front garden and my porch. I showed you how I planted and edged and mulched, um, and I show you all the flowers that I'm using this summer outside. So I will link that in the description box. I would love for you guys to check it out and let me know what you think, and would love to know what you guys are planting or if you've done your planting yet for this summer. I know some of you have shared some beautiful flowers that you love to plant with but it's so fun I can't believe it's already almost June I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had so much fun making it and just getting our home ready for summer I'm gonna actually share the rest of the entryway in next week's video so stay tuned for that and again I want to thank Anna Louisa for sending me these beautiful jewelry pieces I will link their website in my description box and you can get 20% off by using Rebecca 20 so let me know if you guys order anything I know you will love it and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys until the next video god bless Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here today. We're gonna actually be decorating my front entryway. I did create this little vignette probably a few weeks ago now. I love how it turned out on the hall table with the pops of blue and the lemons. I think it's very French country, cottage core, and I wanna actually make the rest of the room tie into this. So we're gonna start by decorating this little three-tier stand that I have here. I've had this probably 12 years now it was from home sense it's one of my favorite pieces because it is so simple I can really add any decor to it for every season so let's get started so to start my decorating, I have this gorgeous lantern. I love the size, the shape, the color. I got it from the Dublin Mercantile. I have talked about this store quite a few times on my channel. It's huge. There's probably six or seven rooms this size in the store, full of decor, and they switch it up seasonally. So I could definitely spend a few hours just browsing all the new items, and they typically arrange everything by color scheme. So it's it's very relaxing to go in here and browse. I love this bird cage. I think this one was $80. And then they had this huge one for $180. But I love the shape and the size. I actually got my big bird cage on my hall table from here. And it's one of my favorite pieces. So I love the store so much. And this lantern was reduced to $20 because it was missing a few panes of glass. But Liz at Tradition by the seasons actually takes out her glass panes in her lanterns so I thought I could either keep it in or take it out and I just think it was such a good deal for $20 I did decide to keep the glass in the four spots for now and then the two spots that are missing the glass I just kept open so I think it looks cute this Fleur de Lis, I think that's what it is with the crystals, was from the Dublin Mercantile a few years ago. I believe it was $9.99. And I had this tobacco basket hanging from the wall and I thought I would just bring a little bit of French charm by adding this. I love that it's really subtle and kind of blends into the tobacco basket, but it adds a little bit of glam. And then moving to my top shelf, I'm gonna add this little wooden riser. And I found this adorable little pitcher this year at the thrift store for $2.49 and I thought it was just so cute and perfect for summer. I had these white and green flowers in my stash and I thought they would look so cute in the picture for summer so I pulled those out. I love how wispy and light they are so I think they look really cute. And then I also had these candle holders. They're very chippy, um, almost farmhouse slash French country. And then I decided to add one of these really pale blue candles in. I did get these from the Dublin Mercantile. They were $10.99 each. And then the candles were $2.99 each, but everything was 20% off.
I had to add this little picture of my sweet little Holstein. I love this photo of him. And then my dad and stepmom have a gorgeous peony bush in their yard and everything was in full bloom over the weekend. So I did pick some peonies. I love peonies. These were in my wedding bouquet and I just think they're so gorgeous. They do collect a lot of ants, but I made sure there was none in there and I just love them. And then I'm going to also add this adorable little bird. To me, it just says summer. Let me know in the comments if you guys love to use fresh florals in your homes for summer. I think they're so pretty and I especially love the smell of peonies and lilacs. For my bottom shelf, I did add that book and then I have this really pretty chippy bowl. It was from Michaels. To me, it looks like stone. I love the scalloped edges and it's quite a heavy piece. I think it's so beautiful. It says French country. And then I had this little mini wreath. I love the green with the little yellow flowers. So I'm gonna lay this in the bowl. I wanted to bring a little bit of color and also a little pop of yellow. And then I'm gonna go in with my lemons. Let me know in the comments if you like how this little area turned out. I think it's so cute. I love just using a lot of whites and wood tones as well as those pops of blue and yellow for summer. I think they're just so fresh and pretty and everything feels so crisp and clean. I love layering pieces. I feel like you add a lot more visual interest and I felt like something was missing on the top shelf. I think it was a little pop of yellow. So that's why I went in with those little mini lemons and I I think they add the perfect touch. I would love to hear in the comments what you guys were up to this weekend, if you had any fun, exciting plans, or if you were doing housework or decorating, leave me a comment and let me know. But moving on to this little door here, I love to jazz it up with a wreath, um, but I thought I would add this basket with some tulips. I'm just showing you that I have the mirror here with the wreath, so I thought if I added another wreath, it might be a little bit too much. So I tried to keep it really simple. Moving over to my coat rack here, I do kind of like to add some seasonal decor. I went in with this really pretty scarf and then I had this really simple straw hat. I thought I would add it along with a jean jacket and it kind of just looks like you came back from the market. I don't know, I feel like it adds a cute little vintage touch for summer. So this little area in our front lobby is the bench. It's kind of where you would put your shoes on, but I've kind of filled it with a lot of decor, so you can't really do that. I have our basket of slippers. I love to keep that by the door. When we come in, we change into those. And to keep it really simple over here, I'm just switching up my cushions, taking down this little wreath I had for spring, and adding in this really cute home sweet home sign. A few years ago, I took some old books I had and just wrapped them in some paper, added this lace ribbon, and I love to just incorporate these books on different displays in my home. I thought they would look super cute in my lantern, and then I'm also going to go in with some really wispy greenery. I feel like it just lightens it up and makes it look really pretty, and I love the pop of the lace bow. I think lace is just so gorgeous, and to bring in a little bit of our blue theme, I'm going to add in this cute little dish that I got from Value Village, I believe. I love using lanterns in my home decor. I have them all over the house and I think they're just so perfect. You can switch them up every season and you can just incorporate different things in them. I also love lamps. I actually had mine on today. It's summer, but it was really chilly out and rainy and damp. So I just love turning my lamps on. I feel like it instantly makes the house feel cozy and inviting. And I'm really enjoying all my summer decor. I can't believe we're in June already. It's just so hard to believe. I feel like summer is going to fly by. It always does. Um, but I'm just really loving all these pops of blue and yellow. 
Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna show a little clip of Holstein and I'm also gonna show that it's been raining here finally. A lot of you have been messaging just asking how we're doing because of all the fires in Canada. We're about five hours from Alberta, so we're not directly affected. Although last week there were a few days where it really was quite smoky. Um, but thankfully we weren't affected, but we're praying for everybody that is. I feel so bad for everybody who's had to flee their homes um, or lost their homes. And yeah, we're just praying, but thankfully we've been getting a lot of rain and it looks like a lot of rain is in the forecast. So hoping that all the fires get put out. So thank you for everybody who did check up on us. We really appreciate it. But as you can see, our front flowers are getting some much needed water. So until the next video, friends, take care. God bless. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here today for another week of decorating. If you are new to my channel, my name's Rebecca and I love all things seasonal home decor. And today we're gonna to be decorating the back deck for summer. This deck was actually built by my husband and his dad and we love the space. It's just so nice for entertaining. I do wanna get the patio stained um, probably in a gray color. I just haven't got around to it yet, but maybe this year or next. And I just love how on the left side we have the seating side and then on the right side we kind of just have our dining table because we do love to eat out here in the summer. So let's get started. So I wanted to start off by making a beautiful floral arrangement for these black pots. I've had these for quite a while and I decided to take a trip to our local nursery. This is my favorite one. It's a family owned nursery and it's not far from our house and they just have the most gorgeous florals here. Everything I've ever bought in really lasts and is so beautiful. And I was really drawn to the Gerber daisies. Um, I don't think I've ever used daisies in my decor before when I'm picking out flowers flowers but I thought these ones were just so gorgeous and I really love the bright yellow for summer so I knew that I would pick some of these up and I'll just kind of give you an overview of some of the flowers I did decide to go with. I thought this greenery was so pretty. I love the bright green color and then just how flowy it is. I thought this would look really pretty in the pots and would stand out against the black. And then I love this little floral. I think it's called silver something. I can't think of the name now, but to me it kind of looks like baby's breath. I just think it's so delicate and pretty. So I thought those would look really gorgeous in the pots. I'm going with more of a white and yellow theme. And then of course my tried and true flowers flowers that I always seem to do really well with and I ended up just buying some new soil from Walmart. I typically like to do this every year. I feel like it gives the plants a better chance to thrive when you have new fresh soil and typically I do add miracle Grow to my flowers usually weekly depending um, how big they are. So I'm just going to start by placing the soil and then I'm going to pot all my new flowers. I'm so excited that this week is a long weekend. I can't believe we're almost in July. So we have Canada Day on July 3rd. So we get that extra holiday. And then I think in the States, you guys have Independence Day. Let me know if I'm correct. So it's just so fun to have those long weekends in the summer. They're so special. And I am gonna show you at the end of this video how I decorated my front porch for Canada Day. And then also we did some strawberry picking on the weekend. So I thought I would share a little clip of that so I hope you guys enjoy it but I would love to know what your plans are for the long weekend we have my nephew's birthday party he's turning three so that's going to be a lot of fun and just a lot of time spent with family which I always really look forward to so let me know in the comments what your guys plans are 
Let me know in the comments also if you decorate Americana decor. We decorate with Canada Day decor here, but I feel like it adds such a festive touch and just makes the holidays feel a little bit more special, even if you just have something as simple as a little flag out. I just feel like it's so patriotic and I feel like we're probably all just so grateful to live where we live and there's just always so much to be thankful for. So let me know if you love to decorate for those patriotic holidays as well as the traditional holidays. So I did pick up all these flowers from the nursery on the weekend and I'm actually planting them on a Thursday so they were kind of starting to get dry in those little cell containers. So I'm going to give everything a really good water and I'm just excited to see how well these grow throughout the summer. I love how these turned out. I think they're so cute and it's such an inexpensive way to make your own planners and customize them. So now I have this really pretty wicker stool. I actually got this for $3 from a garage sale and I just think it looks very cottagey and vintage and I just love it so much. And I knew I really wanted to add a fern to it. I don't always have the best luck with ferns. If you guys have any tips, let me know. But I did get them from Giant Tiger for $9.97, which was such a great deal. So I'm hoping I can keep it alive. I typically see people hanging these, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. So let me know if you have any tips or tricks to keep ferns alive. So my little helper Holstein was out with me as usual. I brought his little bed out. Sometimes he'll sit on the bed or on the couch, kind of just depends. But he loves these little Benny Bully treats. I think they're freeze-dried liver. Um, I'm trying not to give him as many treats, but it's really hard to resist him. And he loves these and they're really low calorie. So he was just snacking on these and I hope you enjoy this little clip. We've had this sectional probably two or three years. It was from Canadian Tire as well as the coffee table. And I really wanted to warm it up. So I thought I would add some really pretty throw pillows. The first cream ones I got from Giant Tiger. And then these ones were from Winners. I think they're Tommy Bahama. I just love the combination of the soft blue and the white. It's just so classic. And to me, it says summer and French country. Just to bring in a little bit more texture, I had this gray throw pillow. It's actually an indoor pillow, but I thought it was so pretty, I brought it out. When it is going to rain, I just throw our cover over this. And I have this really pretty soft blue blanket. I actually got this from Giant Tiger also. Not sure if you guys have Giant Tiger in the States, but they had some really pretty colors, a darker blue and then the light blue. And then I noticed they had some yellow, pink, green, and they were all $12, which I thought was such a good price and it's just a perfect little throw for those you know summer nights when you just want a little bit of warmth but nothing too heavy. We typically sit out front of our house a lot more than out back so I did want to keep it quite simplistic out here. It just makes it easier to keep it clean and then because I have so much watering and work to do at the front I just kind of like to keep it more low key back here. I'm going to add this simple little tray and I just love the combination of the soft colors with the wicker and then I have this really pretty lantern. I decided to add some Gerber daisies to bring that pop of yellow. And then I'm also just going to go in with one of my flameless flickering candles to bring a little bit of ambience to the evenings. Let me know if you like how this little area turned out. I think it's really cozy and simplistic, but also really warm and welcoming. And then just to kind of bring a little bit of life over to our deck box here, I added some petunias. And on my table, I wanted to keep the tablescape really simple. I had these placemats. I love them. I probably use them the most out of all the placemats I have. And typically when we host, we just use paper plates in the summer for barbecues. So I didn't do a table setting. I just added this really pretty sunflower just to bring a little bit of cheeriness to that area. And then for some added ambience in this corner, I'm going to add these really pretty lanterns.
The finishing little touch here is this cute little watering can. It's not only cute, but it's functional when I do want to water. So I just love that. And I just think everything looks really neat and pretty. It's not overdone. And it's just going to be easy for me to kind of maintain this space, just do some watering and you know when it rains I can just sew the tarp over this and keep everything really dry and the carpets that I am using these can get wet they're just like a plastic carpet which I love I can just hose them down if I need to clean them so those are just a great find when you're looking for a rug um, but just want something that's really easy and Holstein's enjoying the couch he loves sitting out here with the breeze I'm so glad I decided to add the daisies in. I just really love that pop of yellow. I feel like it's so bright and cheery and that cute little sunflower that I did add to the table. I feel like it adds so much. So I'm loving that I went with the whites and the yellows and in the front I have the pinks and I just have my candles here going at night just to repel those mosquitoes and I feel like it just looks so cozy back here. I did want to show you guys a clip of the front yard so you can see that I added my Canada Day decor. I didn't buy anything new this year. I just used decor from past years. Typically I can use the flags for probably quite a few years before they get kind of faded. So I got everything, all the flags I think from the dollar store and I just love those cute little pinwheels. I think they add such a pretty touch and then I did add some little flags along the flower beds and I feel like it looks so patriotic. I wasn't sure how I would feel with the pink and the red, but I think it does look really pretty. I love that banner above the door. And that was from Michael's as well as the Canadian flag. And there's Holstein enjoying the day. I did tuck this little flag into my flower and then I have these pillows in the red and white. I really wanted to find some kind of bunting this year for our windows to hang because I feel like that looks so gorgeous. I didn't find any, but I do love all the simple little touches. And I think this little nutcracker is so cute. It was from Michael's last year and it just adds that cute little patriotic touch. But as you can see, my flowers are getting so big and everything's looking really pretty. And here's a little snippet from when we went strawberry picking. It was a really humid day actually when we went, but it was just nice to be outside and just picking some fresh strawberries. They always taste better, I feel like, when you pick them yourself. And it actually ended up being cheaper to go here and pick our own than if we had have just bought some in the grocery store. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, friends. Leave me a comment and we'll chat on the next video. Take care. God bless. Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for my 2023 summer home tour. Before I get into the tour, I do wanna thank Teddy Blake for sending me this gorgeous handbag that I'm gonna share with you all. I'm so in love with it and I know you'll love their brand and their bags also. Teddy Blake bags are made from 100% genuine Italian leather and I chose this gorgeous bag in this beautiful color. I think it'll just be so nice for fall and even into winter I just love how luxurious the packaging is and the bag itself and I did want to show you inside the bag because it's just as beautiful on the inside as the outside I feel like the hardware is just so high-end also. It just has such a nice shine to it. And you could tell that there's just so much craftsmanship put into this bag with the stitching and just all the details. I'm gonna add this longer strap that the bags come with also. That way I can wear it as a crossbody or I can just drape it over my shoulder. Teddy Blake was kind enough to send me a coupon code. I will link it in the description box so that you can get $30 off if you do decide to purchase one of these luxury handbags without the luxury price tag. So let's get into the home tour. 
So I'm just starting off in the front of our house. I love how this area is looking for summer. All my plants are just growing so well. Everything's so big already and it's just the beginning of July. I think because we've had so much heat and sun and then also quite a bit of rain. So it's kind of the perfect conditions for everything to just get super big. You can tell my hostas are huge. I'm going to have to trim these down a little bit in the fall, but I have a lot of my Canada day decor up still it was just Canada day on the weekend and I just love the pop of color that it brings and I just feel like it's so patriotic to have it up so I'm really enjoying that and my favorite add-on to the porch this year was this little bird feeder I've just been enjoying watching all the birds come and eat and I just think it's so precious and of course my little buddy Holstein is keeping an eye on the neighborhood from his little spot so moving into the front of the house, this is our foyer. I love this. I always loved having a big foyer. I just feel like it's so nice when you have guests come over to have that larger space. So this is one of the things that really sold me on the house. And I love this little area I put together with this mirror. I really wanted to bring in a lot of yellows and blues and give it really that French country cottage core look. So that's kind of what I was going for this summer in my decor. This bird cage is one of my favorite pieces. I've had it for a few years, I think now. It was from the Dublin Mercantile. And I added some lemons, a few little gardening tools, a clock. I just wanted to keep it really simple and pretty for summer. And on this lower shelf, I did add this pillow and basket with some books. And then I had this cute little stool. I love this little blue tea kettle. I just feel like it ties in that kind of cottage core feel. And then on my coat hook here, I kind of wanted to make it feel like I was coming back from the market or gardening. So I just staged that with a hat, a scarf, and then one of my denim jackets. This little area is where we have our bench, where we put our shoes on, but I do love to add some decor touches to this area. And I did want to keep it really summery and simple, so I did add these really pretty lanterns. And kind of to mix things up, I added some books with some ivy and tied a lace ribbon around it. And I feel like it gives a very romantic feel for summer and something a little bit unexpected. We do have a powder room right off the front foyer. I love that little powder room sign from Michaels. I did add a basket and then filled it with some florals and I feel like it looks really whimsical. And then I do have this three tier stand. It's one of my favorite little areas to decorate. And again, I really wanted to use those blue and white tones. So I'll kind of just go over that and show you some of the pieces I used. I love this cute little picture. I did thrift that. And then of course I had to add this cute little frame picture of Holstein. He's five years old now. I can't believe it. I don't know where the time goes. I feel like we just brought him home yesterday. And then on this bottom shelf, I just had this really chippy looking bowl and I added some really pretty lemons to it and I feel like it looks very vintage. So moving into our open kind of living area with our kitchen, dining room, and living room, I feel like my favorite area of this room is the mantle and the bookshelves. I love to decorate those areas. And typically I do change things up every season. I feel like it's so much fun and I'm so looking forward to fall even though summer's kind of just started. But I love how the mantle did turn out. I use this really big basket that I thrifted this year for $20. And I feel like it does add that very cottage French country look. And then I have these adorable birds that I added to this book. And I use quite a lot of florals. I just feel like it makes it light and bright for summer. And then kind of just moving down the fireplace, I use these really tall pillar candles. And then I had this sweet little watering can that looked kind of distressed and like it'd been outside. And I just added some florals to that.
for the summer, I typically don't like to pack my shelves full. I like to keep it really light. I did find this really pretty vase at the thrift store and I think it was $4. On this little shelf, I did keep it really neutral except for this little pop of blue. And again, that was thrifted for $3, which I love that. And then my sister gave me this gorgeous print on this shelf. She actually gave me a few prints and I just thought they were so beautiful. I love the gray picture frame and just the print itself. It just is so wholesome and sweet and just reminds me of simpler times and just simple joys in life. So I absolutely love those. On this shelf, I had these cute little ducks. I found them this year from the thrift store for $2 each and I just thought they were so precious. I just had to have those. So moving over to the second bookshelf, for the first shelf I had this really chippy looking container. I added some candles and a blue flower. And then on the second shelf I had a few dishes that I didn't end up using for the kitchen. So I thought I would just layer them up and add them to the bookshelves. Here's another one of those really pretty prints from my sister. I think because I love animals and it just reminds me of Little House on the Prairie or Road to Avonlea, some of my favorite shows growing up. So I love that little simple touch. And then on this bookshelf, I do have a clock, but I admit I took the batteries out because the ticking drove me crazy. Let me know if that's happened to any of you guys before. I really do love how this room came together using a lot of pieces I already owned and then adding in some thrifted decor. I did have this tray here and I added this wire looking little cloche with this bee on the top. I think it's so cute with my flameless flickering candle and you can see little Holstein's kind of watching over this whole room. He loves to sit on the couch because he can see out the front door and he's just all cozied up in the pillows and he kind of just blends right in with with the decor. Moving into our kitchen, I love how the space turned out. I feel like the yellow really pops against the dark cabinets that we have here, and it just makes everything feel really bright and cheery. I love this little basket. I did fill it with quite a few items like this bird, some plates and candles, but I feel like it really does complete the look and make the island look really festive and summery, which I'm so enjoying. Let me know what your favorite area to decorate in your home is, especially seasonally. I feel like we all probably spend quite a bit of time in the kitchen. I don't necessarily do all the cooking, but I do spend time in the kitchen. So I love to just make everything feel really cheery. And one of my simple pleasures in life is lighting a candle on the stove. I feel like it adds so much warmth to the home. And this little basket was so fun to decorate with this lemon squeezer, just a few little cups. And these Maison Cash containers I got this year and I think it was around $16 for both. I feel like I haven't used my little three tier and two tier stands as much as I used to in the past. I'm not sure why that is because every time I do decorate them, I feel like they're so pretty and I love how they turn out. And then above our stove, I added this wicker basket that I thrifted and just put some little tea towels from Dollar Tree as well as some summer florals. Moving into the dining room, this is another one of our spaces that we probably don't use a ton except when we're entertaining. We typically don't sit at the table when we eat supper, but I do love to decorate this room. And on the buffet, I did find this really cute little teapot for $3.99, I believe, at the thrift store this year. And I thought it was so perfect for the color scheme I was going with, using a lot of wickers and blues. And these cute little birds stacked up on these books are just so adorable and then I did add a lace doily on top of the basket and then again tying in a lot of those same florals I feel like that kind of makes things cohesive when you stick with the same color scheme as well as the same florals 
you can never go wrong with the blanket ladder. They fill space and there's so many ways you can decorate them. I just added a blanket to this one as well as a straw hat and I love the little touch it adds to the corner. For the tablescape this summer, I did keep it quite simple. A lot of these plates, actually all the plates here as well as the cups are from Dollar Tree. So they were only $1.25 each here in Canada. And I think they're so stunning. They look really similar to ones you'd find at HomeSense or Winners. They're gorgeous. And especially if you'd like to change out your decor a lot, you might not necessarily want to spend a lot. So I was really happy to find those and just kind of decorate on a budget. This little area, I have this table that was my mom's. I love to keep it in this little corner. I added a basket and some books. And then on our sofa table, I have this long floral arrangement and I just popped in some lemons. And on the bottom, I added a basket with some florals and a cute little birdhouse. I do love how our backyard turned out. It's very simplistic. I didn't go overboard. We typically sit out front and we will sit out back when we're having company more, but day to day we're more out front. So I did add a few cute little touches, lots of greenery and then the blues and the creams just kind of to carry that color scheme out to the back deck. There's Holstein lounging on the couch. He loves sitting out here. He loves being outside, but I think it's so pretty with all the calming colors and definitely a space that I can go out to and read a book. And it just feels really calming and perfect for summer. I really hope you've enjoyed this summer home tour. I had so much fun filming it and just being able to chat with you guys is just such a blessing for me and something I look forward to every week. I will leave my Teddy Blake discount code in the description box, but until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.